breastfeeding verses in the Quran. Christians need to understand this. This guy, this guy, he's comparing the verses I'm missing from the Quran. He's lying. No Muslim, Muslim scholars or Muslims dispute about the Quran verses. Who believe the Quran was removed by Muslims? Allah, Christians, do not know about the cancellation and abrogation. Allah said in chapter two, verse one o six, and chapter sixteen, verse one o one. Allah is telling us about the abrogation, and who does that? Only Allah does that. Who did that? Allah. No Muslim removed or changed the uh, did abrogation or cancellation of the Quran. Only Allah. But Christians, the difference is they have different versions. So some verses are missing in the other versions, like an um, international version, new international, or new standard version. Only King James version. But the main ones, those verses are removed from the, uh, the rest of version, other versions. Why they removed all those verses from other versions and only is valid in King James Version. And as also I said before, and I'm repeating again, is what? Example, Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 21. It's only valid in King James Version. Other versions are removed. Why? Why is it removed? Also, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse is removed chapter uh, the gospel of uh, 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 matthew chapter 18 verse 11 is removed the gospel of matthew chapter 23 23 verse 14 is removed the gospel of mark chapter 7 verse 16 again mark chapter 9 verse 44 and again verse 46 the gospel of luke the gospel of luke i just explained that one i just explained no muslim dispute about the breastfeeding who did that allah but christians why look quran bring bring any quran bring any quran dialects and let's see if one of the those dialects we find the breastfeeding verses do we find no do we muslim dispute no but christians dispute the verses are missing in other versions but only is is only valid in king james version huh? i just exposed i just exposed that one i explained so now let me carry on. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verse 36, is missing from other versions. It's only valid in King James Version. Again, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 17, is missing from uh, other versions. It's only valid in King James Version. The Gospel of John, and 1 John, chapter 5, verse 7. Again, John, chapter 4, 5, verse 4. And again, I'm repeating. Acts, chapter... I never finished Mark chapter 11 verse 26 Mark chapter 15 uh, Mark, Mark chapter 15 verse 20 what Mark chapter 15 verse 28 is missing from other versions is only valid in, valid in King James version Acts again chapter 8 verse 37 chapter 15 verse 34 chapter 20 and uh, 24 verse 7 chapter same again same book acts chapter 28 verse 29 and romans chapter 16 verse 24 all these verses are missing from king are missing from other versions it's only valid in king james version so which one god inspired you know what scholars say it's they say those verses which are available in king james version were edited later yes. not in the previous yes. let's say like johnny says one john chapter 5 verse 7 it says there are three that bear witness in heaven god the father the son and the holy spirit if you go to other versions it no does way. not mention yeah. all these three but. why where did we get where did they get from liar liar holy spirit devil spirit who inspired tell me tell me who inspired those verses why is only valid in king james version but other versions are removed i just told you breastfeeding it was in the quran by the time of the prophet and who the revelation was on allah abrogated and allah said in the in the quran chapter 2 verse 
106. And also in chapter 16, verse 101, we Muslims, wait, brother, wait, you know the shark. We Muslims do not dispute about the breastfeeding verses. Do we? No. Do we? We all agree, yes. Do Christians agree those verses? No. See the difference? Which one did the Holy Spirit inspire? Tell me then, which one did the Holy Spirit inspire? Liar, these guys, man. No, Christian, come here, challenge me. Come, challenge me. Your God is three persons in one. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The God of Jesus is only God the Father. The God of Muslims, only one. You have fake God. Jesus said what? Is we one person? Is us one person? Is us one person? Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. God of the Bible said what? Let us make man in our image. Our. Is our, our eye. What about our? Okay, wait, 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 wait. He does not know Arabic language. He does not know Arabic language. You do not know Arabic language. Even in the Bible, do you believe you have only one God? Do you believe you have one God? Okay, do you believe God is one? Answer. Do you believe God is one? Answer. God of the Bible is saying us and we. Explain that one. Genesis chapter 1, chapter 1 verse 21 to 26. Listen. God of the Bible is saying what? Full role of majesty. Arabic language. You do not know Arabic language. The God of the Bible said what? Let us make man in our image. His creation. Let us make man in our image. Christians believe God is one. Our is one. Is our one? 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 It's called a plural. Your Majesty, even Jews. Listen, listen. No problem. Let me explain this. That's a new language. That's a new language. That's a new language. Wait, I'm teaching him. That's a new language. Brother, brother. Wait, wait. Brother, I'm teaching him from the Bible. From the Bible, let us make man in our image. God is one. And when he says, when he says, our, uh, our Holy Spirit, is the God of Jesus the Holy Spirit? Answer, is the God of Jesus the Holy Spirit? Wait, wait, wait. Is the God of Jesus the Holy Spirit? Is the God of Jesus the Son in the Is the God of Jesus, God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? No. The God of Christians, God the Father, the Son bro, and the Holy right, Spirit. Right, don't go by right. camera, bro. No, I'm not I'm speaking. You right now, I'm standing here. Right, don't go right. by camera, bro. The God of Jesus you, is only God the Father. Now, the God of Christians is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The God of Jesus is only God the Father. The God of Christians is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus, Christians say Jesus is the way and the truth. You're right. Man. If Jesus is the way and the truth, why your God is why your God is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Why your God prays for blessings for Why you? your God is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Why your God is God pray to? Your God does not pray for the prophets. Who does Allah pray to? What's the who does Allah pray to? What's the meaning of four? Listen, Christians, I'm educating. Yes, no, I'm educating for us. Arabic, no, two even. You don't know Arabic. You don't know Arabic. Listen, did Allah use two? No, Allah. Listen, Christians, I'm teaching Arabic. I'm teaching Arabic. Listen, you don't know Arabic. You don't know Arabic. Stop talking, brother. You don't talk. Listen, come on, teach them. You're right. Christians say Allah prayed for. The word for in Arabic is what? They do not know. The word to, they do not know. Allah used the word Allah. Allah means upon. Is Allah means for or to. They don't even know Arabic. How can Allah pray? Allah said, Inna Allah wa malaikatu. Christians, apologies, liars. They do not know Arabic. Listen, they do. Listen, do not distract. I'm going to explain it to him. Christians do not know the verse of the Quran, chapter 33, verse 56. They say Allah prayed two or four. Allah never said two or four. Allah used the word Allah. Two is Lee. Allah is upon. There is no prayer there. There is no prayer there. There is no prayer there. It's about blessings. Because the word Salah also is synagogue. Quran 
chapter 22, verse 40. Salah, plural of Salah is Salawat. They do not know anything. You don't even know four. Go learn Arabic, Mr. Allah never used the word four in the Quran, chapter 33, verse 56. Allah said what? Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah means upon. Allah never said two or four. Christians, where did you get the word four? Listen, brother, wait. Allah, what's Allah? What's Allah? You don't even know Allah. The word Allah is not four. And it's not two. You stop worshipping God's God, Mr. Unclean God. You don't even know. Listen, the word Salah, I'm explaining Christians here. My last one. Conclusion. The word Salah has got many different meaning, meanings. Depends on the context. It can be the ritual prayer. It can be ritual prayer. Also, it can, it can be ritual prayer in Quran chapter 4, verse 140 and chapter 4, verse 103. That's ritual prayer. Again, it can be blessings in Quran chapter 3, verse chapter 33, verse 56. Also, it can be a place, uh, the, a place of worship where Jews, people, where Jews pray, synagogue. The plural of Salah is Salawat. Allah said in the Quran chapter 22 verse 40, wa bi'un wa salawatun. Salawat is what? Synagogue. So every time they think the word Salah, Salawat, they think it's about ritual prayer. The verse in the Quran, who is the teacher of the Quran? Prophet Muhammad. And Allah said what? In the Quran chapter 16 verse 44, Allah said the teacher of the Quran is Prophet Muhammad. What did Prophet say when this verse was revealed? In Allah wa malaikati ala nabi chapter 33 verse 4 and 56 the sahabas came to the prophet in sahih al-bukhari hadith number 4797 and sahih al-bukhari again hadith number and hadith number 4797 i said in sahih al-muslim hadith number 1078 also in sahih al-bukhari again 97 and 19 and 1497 it says the word Salah, when Allah revealed that verse, this companion came to the Prophet and asked, they said, Ya Rasulullah, we know how to greet you, but we do not know how to confer Allah's blessings upon you. And Prophet said, say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim. Oh Allah, bless and confer, send your blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as you bless and the, the the Isle of the Prophet, the family of Prophet, as you confer and send your blessing upon Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham and his family. So is that ritual prayer? Where is the prayer in the Hadith? So Christians, they said four and two. In the Quran, Allah never used it. two and li is what? Allah said, وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ Remember, when, when Prophet Moses said what? Two his people, two is Lee. Did Allah say the Did Allah use the word Lee? Did Allah use the word and and two or four? Never. Allah used Allah. Allah is not four or two. Christians, you just lie every time. If you are to use that verse, why can you not interpret that verse and in Allah wa Malaik chapter thirty three verse fifty six? Because the word Salah Salawat plural is a place in synagogue where Jews. Pray synagogues. Why can you not interpret that verse in the Quran, chapter 33, verse 56, same as synagogue, the word synagogue? Also, it can be applied, the word the, the, uh, synagogue. Why you only use the ritual prayer? The ritual prayer is not in that verse, as the hadith even explains. Even in the Quran, the context, there is no prayer. Did the Sahaba pray to Prophet Muhammad? Allah never said two, never said four. So, Christians, Anyways, Christians, they worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the man, only worshipped God the Father. He did not worship, he does not worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The God of Jesus is not God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The God of Jesus is only God the Father. We Muslims believe our God is only one. 
the one Christians call him God the Father. If you believe God the Father, Christians say always, oh, God the Father is not the God of Allah in Islam. Because in Islam, we cannot call God Father. The same question to you, Christians. Did all prophets of the Bible call God Father? No. If you are to say that our God is different because we don't call him Father, also all prophets of the Bible, no, not all of them called God Father. Therefore, that means according to your silly logic, prophets of the Bible who did not call God Father, that means they have different God than the God of Jesus. And also Jesus' God is not Yahweh. Because Jesus and some other prophets did not call God Yahweh. Same as Abraham, Jacob and Isaac. Because in the uh, book of Exodus chapter three, verse, chapter 6 verse 3, it says Abraham and Jacob, Isaac never knew the name of what? Yahweh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.